even happen? It's recycling day. How does it in the middle of the street though? I'm going to watch a movie with a friend. But see, I need a new tripod because you know that one broke. I'm going to watch Lady Bird. Maybe we'll do a movie review. Maybe we won't. Also, I just watched Whiplash again this morning. I haven't watched that movie since like, I don't know, it came out 2014. I probably haven't watched it since 2015, like summer. It was when I was in Canada, I remember, because I had it on Netflix. And I was like, whoa, dude, look at all these movies they have on Netflix in Canada. It's different. It's so good. I forgot. I'll just say like, this time at least specifically, it like really gets you, you know, like emotionally it uh, makes you like riveted or upset or understanding or what you know whatever and then the cinematography is so awesome especially i noticed it in the last song sequence which is kind of like right at the very end of the movie I love Ladybird so much I can't stand it. Just, just, ugh, oh my God, it's such a good movie. God, dude, I talked about Greta Gerwig in my International Women's Day video, but really, like, if everyone in that movie did not absolutely nail it so well, they, what they, what I'm saying is, uh, uh, it's so good, and I was just talking with my friend that I just watched the movie with, that it's not really about like a specific event, and I love movies like that, like Manchester by the Sea. I mean, it's kind of about an event more than this, but it's like, something like a superhero movie is always like, oh, stuff is going good, and then this like one thing happened, and then everything like went bad, and then the movie is this like event. It's this event story where it, like something happened, and then the movie started, and then at the end of the movie, the event is over. But this movie is not like that. It's like, this thing's happening throughout the entire movie and it's not really like the story of any specific thing happening, it's it's life instead of, I don't know man, the movie doesn't start one way and then in the middle it's like, oh hey, guess what, this one thing happened and then at the end it's like, oh, the thing is over now. It's so good. I can't, I, I don't have any words. It's the most subtle movie ever. It. it it's beautiful without you even ever realizing that it is because it's just so natural. It's like the most relatable thing in the entire world. It, you, you watch the movie, you don't even think about the set design, you don't even think about the costumes, you don't even think about the writing because it all just seems like you're watching this thing. And I mean, you can have a movie like Dunkirk where the screen is supposed to fall away because of how the shots are done and how big the screen is and all the noise and everything like that. But a movie like this really just seems like you're just like watching some people because it's it's so genuine that none of it feels forced or none of it feels like it was deliberately done that way and then it just happened that way or that that the characters made these choices not the hair and makeup crew or not the set crew or not the director you know i said three billboards was probably my favorite movie last year but i i i don't I don't know, because when I saw this movie the first time in theaters, it was an awful experience because the people in the theater were awful, but this, this may, this may have been my favorite movie from last year. God, it was so good. I don't even know what to say, man. I'm just gonna go, maybe I'll have more words later. What a coincidence that Paul just got the book in Lady Bird. See, Greta Zerwig and I were on the same. Greta Zerwig? Gerwig. Oh, Paul. I know her name. Well, I'm here at my, where I do acting classes, and uh, we were just at Tempe Camera to get to get this thing, which is awesome, and I'll show you later. But, uh, so we got here early, and uh, it's like 45 minutes before the class starts, so I don't really, there's no one here. The door's locked. No. Listen, y'all, these kids want to act up in school, want to go to school and embarrass you, want to make like they ain't got no home training, so I told my son, don't go to school bathroom no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're gonna bash me like this? You no, know, so now I'm gonna cut his hair, sit him in school with a bald head.
what's up? I talked to you last before my acting class, now it's over. And uh, I bet you're wondering, what's in the box? All right, so. Jesus. And we got our tripod. Dang, look at this thing, dude. Look at this. Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Oh wait, maybe it's in here. It is in here! <laughs> I was almost really upset for a second that it did not have this handle. Okay, so I'm going to finish setting this up and we'll be right back. Don't, don't embarrass me, I told you, don't embarrass me, no! We got our, we got our camera and we put it on the head. You know, screw it on there. Beautiful craftsmanship. Look at that, boys. That's leather. What's good about this thing, though? Why? Well, my friend. Because, look, look what I can do is I can move it anywhere I want. It can spin around, it can go straight up, or it can go like straight down. So Paul, why 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 do you think this tripod is better? Why do you think that this this is better? It's taller. Than this? Well, yeah. It's shinier. It it is shinier. It doesn't have this like cork on it, which is nice. Cork is good for a drink coaster though. Yeah, also if you're trying to make it float and you're in like a preschool class, so that's cool. So look at this. So this I gotta twist it. And then I can move it, just this, up and down. Mm -hmm. And then if I want to turn it, I got to loosen this thing like that. Ah. And so, I mean, this tripod is not like a very high quality one and you can get like better photo ones, but still, this is like how most photo ones work where it only moves when you allow it to. Whereas this is, I don't have to screw anything at all and this is just going to move, but it'll hold wherever I push it. Keith, I think so, what they call that with this manufacturer is a fluid drag system. Yes, Paul, that would be correct. <laughs> wow, you are very um, I could read astute. Oh, Ooh. Allen wrenches. I think Maybe just design. I think, I think it's cool. I think if you're in a high wind situation, you don't want your tripod to blow over. I don't know how this would. How would this blow over? Have you been on the top of Everest lately, Heath? That's the end of the video. Thanks. Look, it packs up into this nice, sweet old. Uh, Little carrying case. I feel like I just sold a Declaration of Independence or something. I will ever my life ever humiliate my own DNA on a social media network. I've seen a lot of parents do that and it actually made me cry. Humiliation can cause suicide and depression. Come on, I'm 26 and I know better than that. Come on, y'all.